Hi, my name is Allie and I'm from the Later Customer Success Team. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can organize your content, schedule and publish your posts, and drive traffic and engagement using Later's link and bio. First off, let's take a look at the Media Library, where you can update all the content you like to manage in your account. You can either upload from your computer, use a Google Drive, or connect to Dropbox. You can select one or multiple media items and use the label option to make sure that your content is organized. For example, label your items for a specific campaign or to create your own internal approval process. Now let's head over to the calendar and cover some basics here. You'll see a smaller version of your media library, where again, you can use the filtering option and add the labels to make sure that you only see the content you wanna work with at that time. On the top, you'll see all of the profiles that you want to manage within later, and you'll see the weekly and monthly views. By right-clicking anywhere on the calendar, you can also create notes to leave reminders for yourself or team members or simply just create a placeholder for future posts. You'll also notice these selected highlighted time slots on the calendar, which are the later suggested best times to post. You can enable this feature by clicking the gear sign on the top right hand corner and then toggling the button for enable best times to post. Now that we've covered some of the basics, let's take a closer look at scheduling and publishing. You can schedule to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and TikTok. When it comes to publishing to Instagram or TikTok, you can either automatically publish your post to your profile or use mobile notifications to publish through your phone. When first joining later, you'll need to set up auto publish if you want to use the auto publish feature and download the mobile app in order to use notifications. Due to API limitations, you'll need a business account for Instagram and TikTok to set up auto-publish, and notification publish must be used for Instagram stories. Let's take a look at an auto-publish post. Drag and drop the media on the calendar, and this is where you'll see the post builder. At the top, you'll be able to select which publishing method you'd like to use. For this example, we'll choose auto-publish, with the built-in editing features, you can make some changes to your video or photo, so making sure that it's cropped correctly, or you can even apply filters or some text. If you no longer want to use this media, you can always change it. When creating your first post caption, there will be two handy features for you to save time and create powerful, discoverable posts. With saved captions, you can save any text sentences, or even a collection of hashtags you often use. This allows you to easily insert these into your captions instead of having to always type them in from scratch. For this example, I'm going to use captions that I've created before and then head over to the hashtag suggestions. With hashtag suggestions, you can search for any hashtag or keyword and later will show you the most relevant complementary hashtags to that one. You can select whichever you'd like to use and just insert it right into your post caption. You can then edit it to make sure it has the spacing and emojis that you want to use when it posts. Since I'm using auto publish, I have access to a few more post builder features, such as tagging people, adding a location, and scheduling the first comment. Scheduling the first comment can be great if you're creating a longer caption and want to make sure your caption is clean and tidy but still includes powerful hashtags. So in this case, I'm going to include some hashtags in my first comment. Now, let's see how to create a post for multiple profiles or different networks. Just hover over the profiles on the top and click the check mark for whichever profiles you'd like to schedule to. 
drag and drop the media again on the calendar, click next, and then you'll see you'll have the ability to finish customizing each of these posts for the different networks and profiles at the same time. Now that we've covered auto publish, let's go over how to schedule a multi photo post and schedule a story. Create a multi photo post by selecting the images you'd like to be in your post and drag them all onto the calendar. Here, you can then edit these one by one again, and you can use save captions and hashtag suggestions to save some time and finish off your post. Now let's take a look at how to schedule a story. Click Stories on the top and drag and drop the media you'd like to schedule. You can rearrange their order or edit and trim them one by one. And if you'd like to add any text or a link, you can add them to your clipboard text and then they will be copied and ready to paste when it's time to publish the story. Now that we saved the story, let's see how to publish it through the mobile app. Open the mobile notification, tap open Instagram, and your story will be saved to your camera roll. So you can just select them from there and paste the caption or add more text to the stories. I would also like to show you how to use scheduling in the Instagram planner to create multiple posts in just minutes. By double clicking on the calendar, you can create these time slots for whichever media you would like to schedule. Instead of dropping them onto the calendar, you can drag them to the top or hit the quick schedule button. These posts will be automatically filled into those days and times that you created before. If you head over to the visual Instagram planner by clicking preview here on the top, you can take a final look at what your Instagram grid will actually look like. You can rearrange the posts or delete them or even add new ones to your feed. Once you're happy with the look, hit save changes and your post will be scheduled in those times and spaces. At the bottom, you'll also see a shared calendar button. If you click this, you can generate a link and send it to anyone you'd like to share your Instagram plan with. They can see a grid, feed, and calendar view of your scheduled posts. Then you can always track how your posts are performing in our analytics tab and reply back to any comments in the conversations tab. Lastly, I would like to show you how you can use Later's link in bio feature to drive more engagement and traffic from your Instagram and TikTok profiles. If you're using links in your Instagram and TikTok bio, you know you can only have one link at a time, which can be limiting if you have multiple links you need to switch out. What Later's link in bio does is it creates a single link that you never have to change, and if your followers click that link, they'll be directed to a clickable replica of your Instagram feed or TikTok feed, where you'll have the ability to link to each individual post, to either a specific article, website, or even your web shop. This means you can promote a range of content in one place and have it discoverable even weeks later. You can also set up your bio to add social links, buttons, and even a piece of featured media. Now let's see how to set this up within Later. Just click the link in bio on the left hand side and you'll see the option to add a bio, social links, buttons, and even a featured media. Then you'll see your grid view of posted content and scheduled content to add or update links to. To add a link, select the content and you can add a link directly here or click more options to see some additional tagging for products or multiple links for each post. You can then take a look at some of the customization options to make it look and feel like your brand. Once you're happy, you can add the link to your bio. Thanks so much for watching. If you want even more resources on how to use later, I've linked a few guides below. And if you have any questions, send us a question below or send us a DM on Instagram at latermedia.